welcome back. I'm Camille from Chicken Scratch and Sniff, cknscratch.com, and today I'm trying to share some teaching tips with you for teaching Howard W. Hunter Chapter 14, which is hastening family history and temple work. Now, as a teacher, your job is to go beyond the idea of finding names, but to find family. There's that block about family on my blog in the sidebar from familysearch.org. And in the ad that it has on there, it said it has, and sometimes it has pictures that are fading away. And sometimes there's a magnifying glass where you have to move it and then you find family members. And that's what this is about. It's not about just finding names and putting things together. It's about finding your family, the people that belong to you and making those pictures reappear and keeping those memories alive, right? And making those connections. So I love that idea. And that's your job as teacher. Okay. So I have four ideas for you and hopefully we'll get through all of them this time with sound <laughs> and we'll get to the end. Okay. Sorry for all the technical difficulties this week. Um, the first idea is a visual that you can use. I chose to do it with trees. You could do it with other plants, but trees because of family history, family trees. Okay. So there's two types that you can do. I have one tree here and another tree here and I just put them in caps so that I could do it here. And what you'll get is you can get a hair dryer, you can have somebody blow, you can get a fan, or you can use one of these fans like this and you can um, ask somebody to come up and blow these trees at the same time and see which one falls over. Now in this case, it's this tree that falls over and it falls over because there's no roots. There's no roots to help it keep down. And that's just like family history. As we come to know our ancestors, and as we come to make those links um, for eternity with our temple history work, um, we're going to grow those roots. We're going to have deeper roots. And when things come up in our lives that are challenging, we're not just going to fall over because we have thousands of years of love behind us. And how amazing is that, right? There's a Joseph Smith poster quote that I made up on the blog that you can put with this where it talks about family history and the great responsibility it is for us to find our family members and just such a blessing it is for us. Um, the other thing I had on the blog was this um, handout with the Oreos. It says, never leave the temple with only half a blessing. And when we go to the temple, obviously, it's a great experience no matter what we do and who, why we go. But I chose Oreos because they split in half easy. When we go and we don't do any preparation on our part, we only leave with half a blessing. And this half is still delicious and great. It has the frosting on it still. But it's only half a blessing. And how much more amazing is the blessing when you go with your family names? And how cool would that be to do every single time you went to the temple? And how amazing. Now, obviously, if you can only do half at a time, it's better than nothing. But if you can, do all. Um, and you could do that with any kind of candy or any kind of food, obviously, and even other ideas, I'm sure. Now, this next idea is going to take a little bit of work and preparation on your part to find people that have already done some family history work and have already taken some of the names to the temple. Because what you want to do is you want to ask them to share the times when family history became more than just letters and numbers, but it became alive. It became family in it. In it. It shifts in your mind when you get to that point. And so you want to have those people share their experiences because that is how you bring in this super amazing spirit into your classroom. There's lots of stories you can tell. There's one that I like with our family where um, when we went, we've been telling stories in November about family as we talked about what blessings we were grateful for in family history. But I didn't know what stories would stick and I didn't know if it would make a difference. So last month when we went to a cemetery where a lot of my family is and the kids recognized the names and understood the connections and said, hey, that's that story. It was like they were meeting them. It wasn't just some name on the gravestone. It was like they were meeting them. And that's how family history can come alive. And as you continue to do those type of things, you feel that spirit and it helps you move forward past those hurdles and bumps as you continue to go and do more research. Um, so find, find things to do that. And the thing is, people always are afraid to start because they don't know what to expect. And they have heard these things where you get stumped and you don't know what to do anymore. But here's what you tell them, okay? Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. That's what it takes right now. Start where you are, use what you can, 
do what you can. Okay, use what you have, do what you can. Now, the last idea is the questions that a lot of people ask is, who am I? Right? If you heard that question or maybe asked it yourself is, who am I? And as we do family history, it actually answers that question, which is funny because people take years off of school or their lives to just find themselves because they don't know who they are. And if they, if you do your family history work, it helps you understand who you are. It completes you. So here's a visual that you can use. Here's a stick figure, okay? And this is you. But as you do your family history work, as you do the temple work and you make those connections, it completes you. We need our ancestors just as much. Okay, so here's the visual. Let me start over. We need our ancestors. This is you. And as we continue to make those connections, it completes us. We need our ancestors just as much as they need us. We understand who we are as we understand who we come from and those connections that we can make. Now, after this one, there's a great video from Roots Tech 2015 that I left um, a suggestion for under the Tuesday recommended study schedule. Use that video right after this. And at the end of that video, there's an excellent challenge that you can leave with your class. It's called the Find, Take, Teach Challenge. Find a name, take it to the temple, and teach somebody to do the same. And how great would that be if we could all just do that and how great the reunions would be up in heaven too. So find, take, teach, and challenge your class to do the same. Those are this week's ideas. Thank you guys for being patient. Hopefully we got through most of the video this time. Have a great week.